This question is from the chapter linear programming and this is a repeated question. This question has been repeated multiple times in the previous question paper. So question is maximize and minimize z equal to 3x plus 9y subject to constraints x plus 3y less than equal to 60 x plus y greater than equal to 10 x less than equal to y x greater than equal to 0 y greater than equal to 0 by graphical method. So we have been given an objective function that is z equal to 3x plus 9y and there are certain constraints that is x plus 3y less than equal to 60 all these are the constraints and we need to find the maximum and minimum value of this objective function z. So first step is write this constraint here. We will consider x plus 3y equal to 60. And then find the values of x and y. Like put x equal to 0. When you put x equal to 0, find the value of y. That is 0 plus 3y equal to 60. So y equal to 60 by 3. That is 20. So when x equal to 0, y equal to 20. And when y equal to 0, x plus 0 equal to 60 or x equal to 60. So when y equal to 0, your x is 60. Similarly, consider the second constraint. We will take consider this as x plus y equal to 10. Find the values for x and y. When x equal to 0, y will be 10 and when y equal to 0, x will be 10. Similarly, consider the third equation that is consider, consider it as x equal to y and find the values for x and y. When x equal to 10, y also will be 10. When x equal to 0, y also will be 0. And when x equal to 20, y also will be 20. Now we got the values for x and y for all the three lines. So we will plot the graph now. Okay, now let us plot the graph for x plus 3y equal to 60. That is, when x is 0, y equal to 20. That is, when x is 0, y is 20. So, here. Now, when y is 0, x is 60. That is, when x is, when y is 0, x is 60. So, we got the points. So, draw the line here. So, we drew the line for x plus 3y equal to 60. But in the equation, we have x plus 3y is less than or equal to 60. Since this x plus 3y is less than or equal to 60, we need to shade the area that is below the line. If it was x plus 3y greater than 60, we, we should have shaded the area that is above the line. In the next equation, x plus y equal to 10. So, here when x equal to 0, y is 10. When x is equal to 0, y is 10. So, here. And when y equal to 0, x is 10. So, this is here. So, we need to draw a line that joins this 10 and 10. Okay. Now, in the second equation, you have x plus y is greater than or equal to 10. Since x plus y is greater than or equal to 10, we need to shade the area above the line. If it was x plus y less than or equal to 10 means we should have shaded the area that is below the line. Now, next, next equation is x equal to y. So, we have when x equal to 10, y also will be 10 and when x equal to 0, y will be 0. That is, when x equal to 0, y is 0. That is here. And when x equal to 10, y also is 10. That is here. So, we need to join. Now, when x equal to 20, y, y will be 20. Consider another value here. When x equal to 20, y also will be 20. So, join this line. Join this line. That is. Now, in the graph, we can see that for the first equation, we have shaded the area that is below the line. And for the second equation, that is x plus y greater than or equal to 10, we have shaded the area that is above the line. For the third equation, that is x less than y, we have two regions here. We are unsure like which region to shade. So, 
for that we need to consider a point each in each of these regions that is consider a point here anywhere you can consider a point anywhere in this uh, region as well as consider a point here in this region and find the coordinate value here here this is x coordinate is uh, 5 and y coordinate is 10 whereas here the x coordinate is 20 and y coordinate is 10 now we have the equation x is less than or equal to y now put the values for x and y here so 5 and 10 x is 5 and y is 10 check whether 5 is less than or equal to 10 this is correct and the next check the next point that is check whether 20 is less than or equal to 10 so this is false so we'll consider this region that is the point where this 5 comma 10 lies the region where this point 5 comma 10 lies that region we'll consider it as a feasible region and we'll shade this area now we'll mark the corner points as a b c and d and the write the values of the corner points that is here this is this point is 0 comma 10 corner point b this is 5 comma 5 this c is 15 and 15 c value is 15 and 15 and this the value of the point d is um, 0 comma 20 now we have the corner points now we'll find the value of z we have the objective function here z equal to 3x plus 9y we'll make a tabular column with as corner points and value of z and I will write the corner points here so first corner point is a a is 0 comma 10 b is 5 comma 5 c is 15 comma 15 and d is 0 comma 20 Now z, the objective function z is 3x plus 9y. So z is equal to 3x plus 9y. Substitute the values of x and y in this equation. So here z is equal to 3 into 0 plus 9 into 10 which is equal to 90. Here z equal to substitute the value of x equal to 5 and y equal to 5 so 3 into 5 plus 9 into 5 that is 15 plus 45 which is equal to 60 again here z equal to 3 into 15 plus 9 into 15 which is equal to 45 plus 9 into 15 135 which is equal to 180 and here z equal to uh, 3 into 0 plus 9 into 20 which is equal to 180 so we have here we have 90 here we have 60 here we have 180 and this is 180 so there are two maximum values here and this is the minimum value so what we write is uh, the maximum value of z is 180 at points 15 comma 15 and 0 comma 20 also the minimum value of z is 60 at points 5 comma 5 this is the answer.